There are three key ingredients that make corn grow. Sunlight, heat, and water. Nebraska farmers saw plenty of those first two this summer, but the recent drought meant rain was scarce, leading to a disappointing harvest. Corn was just a little bit better than half, I'd say about 55 to 60 percent of our normal, like a five-year average on this farm. So a significant loss. Dave Nielsen is a dryland farmer in northeast Lancaster County, meaning he doesn't irrigate any of his crops. The average this year on his farm was only about 90 bushels per acre for corn, which is just over half of normal, meaning production was low enough for Nielsen to collect on crop insurance to help soften the blow. We're, uh, we're still seeing pretty high prices. We just don't have the crop to sell this year, but crop insurance will be a significant boost or help our bottom line. Mark Soboda is a climatologist at the National Drought Mitigation Center on East Campus and says that on average, moisture levels are down about 9 to 12 inches across the state, making the need for rain and snow in the coming months critical for farmers. And if we don't get it now, that's strike one. The spring is strike two. We need to get it then before you plant, uh, before summer comes on. And then you're really going to be living rain to rain early on next year if we don't get moisture between now and next summer. Nielsen says part of the strategy to combat drought on his farm is to plan ahead so he's not caught off guard when it happens. In this area, we can always have drought anytime. So what we've done is we've made uh, preparations in prior years and good years, save a little money back and do that in case you have a severe drought like this. Despite the tough season this year, Nielsen says he isn't ready to panic. You know, we'll, we'll weather this blow fine. I mean, you know, prices are still good. We're still going to have a good income. It's not going to be real bad. It was, you know, it's going to be better than when we were raising 100 bushel corn and selling it for a buck 65. We're doing better in those years, which weren't that long ago. For NewsNet Nebraska, I'm Michael Scholes.